Hi, it's Jamie from Gilbrook Farm, and I want to share with you guys what I think are the top three cookbooks for anybody who is into frugal cooking or who is going down the path of being a prepper. So someone once asked me what I thought was the most important skill to learn when it came to being self-sufficient, and I really had to think about this, but as far as an all-encompassing skill, what I think is the most important skill for someone to learn is how to cook from scratch. In particular, when it comes to things like prepping or any kind of a life-changing event, how to cook from scratch based on a limited pantry. Now, I've done a lot of research on this in trying to uh, look back into history and different cookbooks and different ways of cooking as to uh, what I thought would be the most frugal way of cooking based on limited pantries. So I'm gonna share with you guys the top three cookbooks that I came up with based on uh, a limited pantry, based on frugal cooking, and based on situations that evolved SHTF or life-changing events and the cooking that's involved around that. All right, so the first cookbook that I would recommend for frugal cooking and prepping would be Clara's Kitchen. Now, uh, this is a Great Depression cookbook. You're talking about a time when people uh, didn't have money. They didn't have a lot of food. They didn't have a lot of resources. Uh, and Clara lived through this period and she describes the recipes that she ate during that time period. Not only does she have the recipes in here that she used, but she also, uh, ex she also describes what made her family better off than the family next door. So from a prepping and cooking standpoint, this is an excellent cookbook. All right, so Clara was an Italian cook, so you're gonna see a lot of Italian recipes in here. A lot of pasta, a lot of beans, a lot of bread, and high carb recipes. Uh, one recipe you might recognize is the panna cotto recipe. This is one that uh, I talked about in my three stale bread breakfast recipe. I'm gonna link to that one up above if you're interested. Uh, you are gonna see a lot of recipes for how to make tomato sauce, and uh, how to use eggs. She actually also does things such as uh, dandelion greens and she describes how she used to dig up dandelion greens and she shows you how she uses those in recipes. And also things such as uh, the poor man's meal, which is a recipe that uses hot dogs instead of sausages uh, because sausages were just too expensive to use back then and hot dogs were cheap. So Claire's Kitchen for Great Depression recipe cooking is a good book to have. So the second cookbook that I would highly recommend was actually sent to me from a subscriber. This is the Pennsylvania Dutch Cooking Cookbook. And I was so excited to get this book because I grew up on these recipes in this cookbook. Uh, my grandmother was Pennsylvania Dutch. She grew up in the York, Lancaster area, which is a huge Pennsylvania Dutch Amish, Amish community. And uh, people in that area um, were very self-sufficient. They grew and still do grow their own corn and wheat and raise pigs and of course have their vegetable gardens. And a lot of the recipes in this book are based off of farm cooking. So you're talking your good old farm meals from scratch cooking, uh, things such as meatloaf and chicken pot pot pie, um, baked beans, um, cabbage recipes, slaw, and one that my aunt always used to cook for me, which is something called hog maw. Now hog maw is a, a sausage and vegetable dish that is cooked inside of a pig's stomach. And every time we went over to her house, she'd always say, I got some hog maw on for you if you guys want some. So uh, things such as Scrapple too. So this is from a people that are very self-sufficient, very self-reliant, and this would be the second book that I recommend for those looking to go down that path. All right, so the third cookbook that I would highly recommend, and this is the one that if you had only one cookbook to get for prepping and frugal cooking, this is the one to get, is the Victory Cookbook. This is actually three cookbooks in one. It's uh, We'll Eat Again, The Victory Cookbook, and Post-War Kitchen, all put together in uh, one book. And this is a collection of uh, Ministry of Food recipes from World War II Britain. Now you're talking about a time period when food was extremely rationed, meat, was extremely rationed and it just kept getting more and more rationed as the years went on, as we got more and more into World War II. And there is a lot of very creative cooking that needed to go on during that time period for people to just survive. If you guys wanna know how to use that prepper pantry in the basement, how to use canned goods, ultimate cookbook and how to do that. This is the number one cookbook that I recommend for every prepper, for anybody looking for frugal cooking. So for example, um, oatmeal sausages. You eat a sausage today, it's basically almost 100% meat and spices. This is a way of making sausages that, that were made with uh, only two ounces of meat and the rest is breadcrumbs, onions, and oatmeal. So another recipe would be macaroni and bacon dish. So here you have bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? 
Um, but they use very, very little bacon and it's a very flavorful dish and it satisfies that craving. Uh, beef olive pie, they're using olives as a way to flavor the food so that even though you have very little meat in this recipe, uh, you have a very flavorful dish. And even when you get into the desserts, such as the puddings um, and snacks, uh, you're, you're talking very, very flavorful, creative dishes. Hands down, number one book, I highly recommend anybody who's into prepping uh, or into frugal cooking to get this one before you get anything else. But definitely, if you have the funds, get all three because they are completely different. All the recipes are completely different, different ways of cooking. Now, a little note on uh, prepper cooking in general. My recommendation and the way that we work here is to not just buy these books and shelve them. A big part of prepping is building up your skill set and it's knowing how to cook in any kind of emergency situation. We use these cookbooks every day. I cook from these cookbooks all the time. So not only am I understanding how to cook these particular recipes, um, but I'm understanding how to improvise and do my own types of recipes. And that is a skill that I think everybody should know how to do. So those are my top three recipe books for frugal cooking and for prepper cooking. Uh, if you guys have any recipe books of your own, that you guys would like to recommend, feel free to leave them down below. And if you guys like this kind of stuff, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Three criteria, where the hell did I come up with that shit? <laughs> Sometimes my mouth talks. We have good outtakes for no. this. <laughs> Stop it, you can't make me laugh. And pigs, I just said that. <laughs> Book that I highly recommend is Pennsylvania. Pencil Tucky. Pencil Tucky Dutch a compilation of Ministry of Magic, not Harry Potter. It's not, the <laughs> it's not the Ministry of Magic. What is it? The Ministry of Cooking, Ministry of Food.